Hi, I'm Daniel for Stick Challenge Team 9779 Pioneers. Today we're going to talk about the Rev Expansion Hub. This is our Rev Robotics Expansion Hub. When you get it, you'll get four motor adapter cables. You'll get one power adapter cable, and you'll get a power switch. You'll also get a, a cable conversion kit. There's a really great write-up on the pros and cons of the Expansion Hub at ftc-tricks.com. And it has a link to the technical guide at the Rev Robotics website. Here's a really great document that has all the information that you would want to know about the expansion hub. Like where all the connectors are, and what types of connectors they use. They even have information on how to use your phones to configure your hardware. They also have a sensor compatibility chart. You can check your old sensors and see whether they're compatible or not compatible. So now we're going to power it up. This year all teams are required to have a power switch. Plug one end into the power input of the expansion hub. If you have a battery with an XT30 connector on it, you would plug it into here. But if you don't have Anderson power pole connectors on your battery, you would use an adapter and plug that into your power switch. And then from there, you would plug the Anderson power poles into your battery. And now that everything's plugged in, we should be able to turn the switch on and everything should be able to power up. So now we're going to talk about motors. You'll need to use the motor adapter cable that came in the kit. Plug in the Anderson power bowl and then plug in the VH2 pin to any one of the four motor connection spots on the hub. Now we're going to connect our encoders. This is a standard encoder cable. You're going to need to use a level shifter to connect the standard encoder cable with the VP4 pin. Make sure that when you connect this, the red wire on the encoder cable lines up with a pin that says 5V. Now you connect the PH4 pin into the level shifter. Plug the encoder into the encoder port next to the associated power plug. Here's the touch sensor that came with the expansion hub. As you can see, we have it plugged into one of the analog ports for sensors. And here's the color sensor that came with the kit. We have this plugged into the second I2C port. Here we have a modern robotics range sensor. This runs on 5 volts instead of the 3.3 volts that the expansion hub provides. So we'll need to use an adapter cable, which will change some of the pin configurations. And that adapter cable will go into the level shifter, which will take care of the voltage change. And we have that plugged into the first I2C port of the expansion hub. Now I have a couple of motors and sensors plugged up. And as you can see, it's a lot of cables and a lot of adapters. And some of these cables are pretty long. So cable management is going to be very important. Here's something that might help keep things a little bit neater. Teams 2844 and 8640 ValleyX and Trojan Robotics posted it on Thingiverse. You can 3D print this in a 2-slotted, 3-slotted, or 4-slotted version. So basically you put the 3D printed box over the level shifters, which helps protect and organize them and looks pretty slick. If you need any additional adapters or converters, you can go to the Rev Robotics store. As you can see here, they have a battery adapter and a motor adapter. And here's a level shifter, and down here they even have switches. Or you can order your own raw materials and make your own cables. Here we have the housings and the pins. And here's a little cable that we made up that we can add an Anderson power bolt to. So that's the Rob Expansion Hub. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching.